welcome to the Sierra Leone Investment Conference here at the Queen Elizabeth Hall in central Westminster. This is the first of two very important days in the life of Sierra Leone. We're just about to start this investment conference on Sierra Leone 2009 here at the QE2 Centre in central Westminster. And behind me, you can probably make out some of the huge crowd that is here already. And in fact, we spoke to the organisers, and I think before today, um, more than 700 people could not get in. Such has been the interest in this conference. Um, we think it's going to be a very, very important conference in the life of Sierra Leone, and we are sure that when you hear what is being said by the various speakers here today, you will agree with us. Once again, welcome to the 2009 Investment Conference on Sierra Leone. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to warmly welcome you to this investment forum. This forum is about the future of Sierra Leone. It is an expression of our aspiration and faith as a people of where we want to be in the next five to 10 years. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to this trade and investment forum. First thing I want to say is we are there because we believe in Sierra Leone, in its people, in the country, and in its future. From mining, to infrastructure, agribusiness to renewable energy, tourism to fisheries, our economy has a great potential. The foundations have been laid. Sierra Leone is now ready for significant high return investment. There have been many occasions before where people have tried things like this. This sounds like the real deal. It's exciting. I've just been in there. I'm just out here for a moment. The president gave a good speech and the subsequent other other good speeches, but forget the speeches, there's a feeling in there, yeah. which is enormous. I'm here with Ni Robin Koka, and uh, Ni, I think it's fair to say you've been fairly instrumental in getting this event off the ground. I think I've played a small part, uh, but I've certainly had a lot of help from a lot of people. Okay. There's been a lot of goodwill around this um, event. We've had strong support from other uh, people in government, certainly uh, development partners, and particularly strong support from Tony Blair's um, Africa Growth Initiative, and um, the CBC, but it's been a good team effort, and I think so far we're pleased with um, what's looking like could be a good day. I therefore believe that this is the moment. It is the moment to consider Africa and to consider Sierra Leone. Its changes, its potential, and of course, its opportunity. Tony, I think what a lot of people will ask is why your interest in Sierra Leone? Why do you seem to love Sierra Leone so much? <laughs> well, I. You know, I have this huge affection for the country and its people. I think there are, there are many difficult times Sierra Leone has been through, but actually I think there's a real spirit and determination to create a better future. And the fact that we've got a record number of people, this is the largest ever conference for investment in Africa that there's been. And, you know, my team has been helping with, the, with um, the president's team to put it all together, and we're really excited. And in this room today, where they gather investors, they're not asking for your sympathy or your pity or your recognition of the tragedy that they have been through. They want you as partners. They want you because they are determined to build for themselves a new future by themselves. We are here to showcase what we have as Sierra Leoneans. We are not here to, to beg or look for aids. We are here to develop partnership. Partnership that will deliver mutual benefits to all parties concerned. This conference really cements what's been happening, I think, in terms of promoting Sri Lankan, in terms of getting rid of the past, getting rid of the misrepresentations that are out there about the country, about stability, about economic opportunity. And um, so I think it's... Uh, Hopefully it'll be a watershed and for us to stop talking about the past, the war, Indeed. and actually look forward to investing and developing the country. So if there was one thing you would like to see emerge from this conference that's taking place today, yeah. what would that one thing be? 
it should be the opportunity of investment, like uh, the uh, sector like uh, agriculture and mining. Yeah, okay, cool. that's what we are looking for. What are your expectations for this investment forum? Well, they've already been exceeded, actually. I was so hoping that uh, this conference would attract a lot of new investors uh, to just come and have a look at Sierra Leone. And, and of course, the, the hall is overwhelmed with people, and there are people downstairs who are desperate to get in, and there's a waiting list only. So, um, Indeed, yes. you know, it's been tremendous. It's absolutely fantastic. It feels great. Well, so far, what I've seen of the conference, I'm very impressed. I mean, I'm Ghanaian, and we are known to be arrogant in terms of our organization. But I have to admit, I have not seen a Ghanaian operation this tight. I came to see how much growth has had an impact. Um, I'm fascinated to see the number of new businesses that are showing up. Um, there are international domestic businesses um, coming up with new opportunities that were inconceivable a year ago. Um, and I'm impressed. I'm right. really impressed. I'm impressed with both the range and the quality and the depth of investment that's starting right. to happen. Okay. If there was one thing you'd like to see emerge from the conference, what would that be? Um, I think probably a little bit more clarity from government on the types of investors that it would like to attract. At the moment, um, obviously, it's still so delighting to have such a large scale of interest no. that there's not much focus. Focus, I think, is something to be achieved next time around. I think ultimately this is about investment and it's about attracting the kind of quality of investment into the sectors that will grow Sardin's economy. So ultimately, I think in the next six to nine months, we'd like to realize out of this investment at least three major investments, and I mean, you know, in the big $500 million plus kind of investment Indeed, into yeah. certain economy, kind of investment that can change the game for the country. Hard deals, hard money. We need, it's all very well to do the talk, but actually we need out of this conference to translate the talk into money. We want that money coming to Sierra Leone, the jobs, the investment. Come and see. And if you come and see, then I promise you, your hearts and your emotions, but also your brain will be engaged and your fears will be conquered. This is a country with a great future. This is an opportunity for you to participate in it. This is an opportunity where in future years, you will look back and if you make that commitment and you come and be the partners of the people of Sierra Leone, you will recognize it is one of the best decisions that you have made, one of the most exciting journeys you will have come on and one of the greatest contributions you will have made to creating a better and different country and therefore a better world. Thank you. This is to highlight the positive aspect of Sierra Leone, that it is safe, it's beautiful, and we have an open business principle. Um, I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I hope you are. <laughs> so I'm cooking. I'm so glad. <laughs> it's terrible. And uh, anyway, it's, I hope you're having a useful well, visit. Uh, so a great start. Good. Pleasantly surprised. I'm so pleased. We're just about to see the President and Prince Charles come through to meet and greet some people here at the Sierra Leone Investment Forum. 